all right let's go ahead and get started i went ahead and laid my edges so they could be done in a second okay you guys so just get ready with me for today i'm gonna be going in first i'm gonna moisturize my face with my ultra repair cream moisturizer all right so today we're gonna be talking about um me and a friend who are no longer best friends anymore i dropped the cap and i was trying to pick it up i'm just gonna let it be um so um yes don't mind my broken nail i broke my nail um i'm also going to be going in with this great mask from sephora so we were friends for what seven to ten years i want to say we met in high school <laughs> so when we met she was just like i knew she didn't want to be there she i know she didn't want to be at that school <laughs> um but like you know i was pretty much nice to her you know so um, we hit it off. We started hanging out. We rode the bus together. Um, I was always like hanging out with her. Since my bus stop was by her house, that's pretty much, you know, after school, we hung out all the time. Um, of course, which led into our teenage years, you know, when she got a car, that was pretty much like, we thought we hit the jackpot. You know, at least one of us had a car, you know, one of us was doing something. It wasn't until later when I got a car and I was able to start driving. But while she had a car, we was ripping and running the streets and um, having having fun, okay? I am thankful that, you know, one of us had a car and that we could, we were able to do all the fun things that we pretty much wanted to do. We went wherever we wanted to go, for real. And I hope that this mask stays right where I need it to. I really like this mask, but it doesn't like stay put sometimes. So please stay right there. Yeah, we would go everywhere. After high school, we, we winded up um, going to the same community college. We would, sometimes we would go to class. Sometimes we wouldn't go to class. Um, we... We thought we were, I don't know, I just thought about this. We thought we were so cute. We were always, um, not always, but we were smoking like black and mild. Goodness, they're gracious. I don't know what our problem was. Ugh, I love this mask, but like I said, stay tuned. All right, so the primer I just used, the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk Beauty. And now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Precision Brow, and um, we used to smoke Black and Mild. Like, I was really, I'm still into sweets, as you can tell. Um, and she wasn't such a, like, a person such like on sweets. So I know, like, getting her into, like, chocolate chip cookies, like, it was a thing, you know. She, it was a thing, y'all. I'm, I'm a sweet, I'm a sweet person. Um, and, like, throughout the years, I've always noticed, like, I was the friend to just kind of be the third wheel um she, I, and if i could i could really say that she is so beautiful um that i used to just like admire her and just like oh my gosh i might have a friend and so beautiful like because my friend is so beautiful like people are gonna think i'm beautiful and like we're gonna get the same attention and believe me it didn't work out like that um we might just do like a couple minutes of these masks and then take it off i had like no i didn't have confidence it wasn't until sometime after being like her friend where i found this confidence like you know like forget what people say you know do what you want you know you know love your family do what you want and you know like rock out with your best friend we have been through so many things together like i said i'm gonna go ahead and get started with my nyx precision brow and um you just you just never of course i think you talk about it with your best friend like girl you know if there ever is a day that we're never not friends you know we're never gonna you know tell each other's business or you know you know we know what it is you know like when it, when we see each other you know there's never no it's always love or something like that and but we all well see my thought it was you know we'll, we'll always be friends 
and um like i've learned a lot of lessons having a best friend also having a god sister like you know or having other friends you know how that kind of clashes um but i can tell you something like the day when you're not ready to lose a friend that hurts when you just weren't aren't expecting it when you're not expecting it but you can kind of tell that you know things aren't the same you know just things just things weren't the same and i can definitely say like when you when you have friends and you grow up you definitely butt heads you learn a lot of things um i've learned a lot of lessons um just like if something happens or if you know something tell your friend right away you never want to be a in a position where you're holding a type some type of inf information that could be dangerous and that could potentially hurt somebody you know um not to get it like super into details but um if you have a friend or if you two come to the agreement like yeah we're you know we're gonna be friends you know definitely if anything happens tell each other because and just like any relationship it's rather to be like upfront and just like as soon as you know something somebody's thinking out there well like well that's a given i'd always tell my friend anything well that's good for you but when i was when when i learned my lesson I wasn't thinking like that and why wasn't I thinking like that? I don't know, but you live and you learn, right? So my lesson was definitely learned. And she was like super into makeup and I really, really loved that she was into makeup, you guys. Um, so when I first did my eyebrows, my mom knew right off the bat. She was just like, what did you do to your face? And I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything. And of course I was lying, but she was like, did you do something to your eyebrows? And my mom knew like right away and I got in trouble because you know, I didn't have permission to like, you know, shape up my eyebrows or anything like that. And um, I let her do that for me. I think we were at her mom's job or I don't know where we were, maybe at her house or something. And then she did my eyebrows and shoot, I thought I was cute. And it's really, it started a whole thing for me. Eyebrows was it. Once you taught me how to shape up my eyebrows, that was it. And then, um, like I said, she was super into makeup. Okay, I'm done with these because they're starting to really piss me off. Just gonna let that product sit in there and that, that'll that be that. And I just remember like not being into makeup and I would watch her do her makeup. And um, when we were, well, yeah, when I was younger, she did her makeup with her hands. Of course she had, I think she did like, you know, make her eyebrows and stuff like that. But I remember she did like a lot with her hands, especially like concealer under the eyes. And I just used to be like, so like, oh my gosh, like, ah. Uh, that is so like yeah as soon as i need makeup like and i'm gonna be you know like yeah i'm gonna be looking just as good too but for some reason like i just didn't catch on to it i kept thinking like you know i needed help like you know i don't know it kind of felt like i kept asking for help and direction and i just really never got it um that was kind of weird and when we would go out, when we would like go on little dates, of course, who really didn't have a date? Me. So it was pretty much like third wheeling and just being, you know, around her and whoever her little boyfriend or, you know, date was at the time. And, and you know, that's never fun. Fast forward a little bit. I got into a relationship and um, we moved into, we moved in with each other and that was really good. And let me go ahead and finish off my brows and I'll come back and I'll finish off the rest of the story. All right, you guys, I am all back. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows and my face off camera. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into my eyes. And this is the James Charles palette times Morphe. And I'm gonna be using the color, if I can open this, I'm gonna be going in with the red color right here. Uh, you're kidding. So um, I think what I was saying before I had left off to do my eyebrows was that um, I had got, finally got into, I had moved in with my boyfriend and, um, oh wow, you, that's really red. And I think every girl thinks like once they get their own place, like, you know, their girls are gonna come over, we're gonna have, you know, game night, it's gonna be real fun and it happened. I think like, you know, like believe like she came over, but it wasn't, I guess, as often as I guess I thought it should have been. 
or um and then i guess like sometimes it kind of felt like pulling teeth like you know hey girl you know you're gonna come over oh and then yeah it just it just i don't know it just kind of felt like it was just like kind of a hassle um one thing about me i'm big on communication so like you know i remember you know like having the times like hey you know trying to talk and just being like you know like what's up you know, like, so what's going on, you know? Kind of like, why aren't you trying to like, you know, hang with me, stuff like that. So, you know, you have to be willing to have those conversations with your friend if you feel like, you're just, if you're just feeling like weird about something. Yeah. Fast forward, it came around like my 25th birthday. Um, I'll go ahead and link that up above somewhere. I really want you guys to go watch it because I felt like for my 25th birthday, I don't know why, but I was just like having just like the hardest time. And when you watch that video, you'll understand. I don't want that to get too dark, which I feel like it kind of is. So I'm gonna just leave it like that. And I'm gonna go on to, I'm gonna put do the same thing to my other eye. And um, as time went by, my 25th birthday came around and I invited some coworkers. I invited my best friend. But one thing that she did that I never vocalized that rubbed me the wrong way was that she invited her her sister and her niece. And when you go to Disneyland as adults, you know, like you're doing, you can do anything that you want to do. But when you have a kid, you're on a kid's times table, you do what they want to do. And it's pretty much all about them. You know, like, you know, they probably think like, they're going there for them and I really didn't like that and but honestly like the whole trip the just being up there with like the people I was there with I only felt like my boyfriend at the time really understood like you know like hey we're here for you to celebrate you and like we did go on like rides that I want to go on but I felt like of course the thing with the kid came into play so she was off doing that and then the other people that i came with they were off doing like what did they wanted to do and i was just like you know like aren't we here for my birthday like what's going on type thing like that's what that's the kind of feelings i was having am i good with the red i think i'm good with putting red on and i'm just gonna blend this out so yeah like you know everybody was just kind of doing their own thing and like you know we all did things that i wanted to do collect collectively but at a point it wasn't until later on like later later on when i was just like you know what i'm just gonna stop you know expecting everybody to like be here to celebrate my birthday with me and like do everything that i want to do i'm just i just can't because obviously like you know, we all had, everybody had their own agendas and what I planned everybody to come here for is pretty, I guess it was not everybody, you know, to come here for. And I get it, you know, it's Disneyland, you know, you wanna have fun, you wanna, you know, have fun, you know, ride the rides you wanna ride. But there was a point in time with my best friend when, um, I had to like kind of get out of just like why 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 did you even come? I brought you here to be with me, and like everything that I had was thinking just like showed that night like you're not trying like you're just not for me like you're just not being for me right now and I don't know what it is. Um, like I just like really told her, I was just like why are you even here like what's going on. Like, why did you even come if you're not gonna be hanging with me for my birthday? You know, type thing. And then um, a couple days later, it's Thanksgiving. And I remember just like reaching out to her, reaching out to her, she just like wouldn't answer her phone and stuff like that. And my type of thing is, you know, I know I definitely wanted to talk about it. You know, I definitely wanted to be like, you know, what was, what was up with that? You know, what was going on? Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe 441 um, blending brush and I'm just going to just blend all this out just to soften everything up. Well, when we had finally talked, it was just like, you know, super short. I guess she had must have been sleeping or something. So it was like super short. And I said, OK, you know, I'll talk to you later. And I think, you know, I had reached out, reached out, reached out. And then it finally got to I remember the day, De December 2nd. I told myself, I was like, you know, what, girl, you, we're not going to keep on you know, being for people and reaching out for people if they're not gonna, if they're not gonna answer, they're just not gonna just be there. But I told myself, I was like, Christine, like, 
all right are you ready for this like this is it like you're gonna set a day and you're gonna stick to that time and you're gonna see what happens so i set a day i stuck to that time and guess what i haven't talked to her since then so since the day that i had put on my calendar marked the day it was at it was that day i told myself okay i'm gonna see if she calls and then it wasn't until later that day i was just like all right i'm not gonna that's it i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna reach out that's it i learned a lot through my friendship i learned you know at a young age when you have a best friend or when you're starting to have friends you know you have to really know that everybody is comfortable with each other if you have multiple best friends or let's say you have like a goddess or something like that you kind of have to get everybody comfortable in their role with you because that's not something that i don't think i did really good but you know i was learned so if i have a daughter if i have a son like you know and if they have friends and in that position i would definitely tell them like hey you know you guys got to hang out with each other you guys got to know you know each role everybody plays so that was kind of hard you know dealing with a f like a best friend and like you know a sister type thing a god sister so you know i learned about that um and then we're gonna go ahead and go into the jackie Ina palette and we're gonna be going in with what color are we gonna use well let's see i want to go in with wigglies for sure and then probably zam you definitely want to tell your friends like you know right off the bat if you know something tell them right away because that was something that i had to learn the hard way and believe me or not like you'll have times with your friends when you will that you will go through periods where you won't talk to each other maybe somebody had did something maybe you guys didn't agree on something um believe me it'll happen and you just have to make sure that you learn from that and that you both are willing to grow from that the lesson that i learned from this was that people have seasons so not everybody can go with you every time of your life sometimes people are there to you know just be with you for a time and some people are meant to be with you for a lifetime i also learned that you just you can't stay mad at people you really can't and that you may not get the answer that you want or that people may not do what you think that they should do you know of course if for a long time i thought you know i'm not gonna call her i'm not gonna reach out because like i didn't do anything you know but you know once you like reflect on yourself and like all kinds of possibilities you know that'll humble you because when you and somebody just start stop talking out the blue you know, that is a humbling experience because it makes you wonder a lot. And like me, I'm pretty sure I could have reached out. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? But I could have reached out. I haven't and I don't plan on doing that anytime soon. Um, reaching out, just like finding out what happened. But you have to be able to let things go, let people go. And it's going to be hard. You're going to have to pray about it. You're going to have to talk to your family, talk to like your mom or somebody who is really close to you. Or also talk to another friend. Or, you know, just somebody that you can confide in about the whole thing. I'm going to go back in with the same brush that I uh, used to apply all the red. And I'm not going to put any more product on there, but I am just going to use it just to kind of smooth out the top bring kind of smooth out that line at the top and bring everything together use a stronger brush to get that glitter okay i mean i still see some glitter here so i mean you still might see some glitter there sorry and how am i liking everything we need some mascara i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty little tester i have and like ultimately like life is too short there's so many things out there to be doing than to um you know just stay upset but like i said before it's gonna take time you know that's definitely a healing process you're definitely gonna have to you know get over that and you know it's easier said than done for sure but believe me like you're not the only one who's gone through it you're probably not the first time 
or the last time that you'll go through it so you know just believe me when i tell you that you'll get over it everything will be fine and it's gonna be unexpected you know but like i said you're just gonna have to pray through it and get through it and also talk to other people talk to your other family members because i'm sure that they have had that same thing happen to them their friends that they don't talk to anymore um people that they just don't associate with anymore and sometimes they were able to find out the reason and sometimes they weren't able to find out the reason and um whether you do or you don't you have to be able to move on with that i'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and i'll be right back hey guys i'm back and this is the uh, final look i do have on a lip it is the nyx lingerie and um it's called beauty mark and it's super super cute um, but I just wanted to come on here just to finish up this video just to thank you guys for watching this video Make sure you um, Comment down below if you've had any other if you can relate really and share this with a friend share this with somebody who Has gone through the same thing or is going through the same thing like, you know, you're not alone um, And that it happens it truly does happen and some more advice that I just want to leave you with is talk to some family talk to some friends Pray about it and move on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys back for the next one. Deuces.